about time we change the narrative of saying Matinda Bafas, Matindi Bokoto, basically. So I think from now on, we are pushing the idea that you can be sensitive, you can be strong, you can be hardworking, you can be single, you can be alone. Yeah, but like you can dream as much as you want and as big as you want. In the history books, it stated that women were protesting against a past laws. So I believe that it should be celebrated in this year because women are, are very strong and, and now women have the mindset of being independent. I like the fact that women and mama get to enter everywhere from the Nakon. But we can never change the traditional aspect of things. And unfortunately, when it comes to tradition, Abanda wangu mama, abaz fumani zongi opportunities. For instance, according to tradition, umdongo mama, there are certain things as in zayonga pesu numdongo tata. In simple example, ukchata kwetu, funeka mnandi nubi kiali, funeka ndi nubi and I cannot speak a certain way. Whereas umdongo tata is more allowed to speak as they wish and dress as they wish. But this is both our union. I want to see women living freely, being able to wear whatever it is that they want to wear, being able to express themselves, enjoy the fruits of living in a democratic constitution such as South Africa. That's what I want to see in the future. Um, I want to see women um, being able to, my goodness, breastfeed in public without anyone having to ask questions or making you know, unnecessary comments. Campaigns that allows Abafazi to speak out, especially women that cannot speak out from the, for, for themselves. Like Kubeko, it campaigns that help Abafazi to grow e businesses and to grow Bona as individuals. Abadama and Mama are still somewhere, somehow fighting for their place in the society. Yabo. In terms of like, quick corporate industry. Still, you'll find that you can be in the same position as men, but two bodies in town two, um, just the other day, unknown people just walked in a house and shot um, at three women. One is critical in hospital right now, and the other two are just no more. And that's just the life of women in South Africa. What must we do? Celebrate, dance, sing, and then exhaust we're back to being killed again. I don't know. There's nothing to celebrate. I would love to see Abandabongo Mama being leaders. For instance, we call like a president. You are loved. You are valuable. You are amazing. You are great. You understand? The best thing we can do now, as much as we cannot control what's happening around Tina, we can control how we react towards it. Abandabongo Mama of South Africa are doing quite well. Uh, the, um, the number of graduates is, is the females that we are getting is amazing. I would like to say, we have a long challenge ahead of us. Uh, we are still victims of, I would say, circumstance because Abafana around us are not raised uh, to nurture which is we need to stay strong. We need to teach our boys to nurture and take care of our mother.